Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are coming at you with some Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. This is 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball Figure Team Break number 8 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. So big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Right there on the 28th. Joe Cavanaugh Jr. with the quintuple last bought mojo. He bought the last five teams. There's everyone else. Thank you. All right. There's the case right there. Donner's Optic Baseball. We've seen some nice stuff pop out of here, folks. So let's hope that trend continues. Is anybody here for this break besides Joe? Maybe it's just me and Joe in this break and the and spectators. All right. Oh, Ryan's here. So he's he's got a team or two in this. Nice. All right. Box number one. Good luck, everyone. A lot of scores at our finals today. Game still in progress. In Colorado, Rockies are leading the A's 4-1. In San Diego, Diamondbacks and Padres are tied. In San Francisco, San Francisco be, uh, breaking up the no-hitter. But the Diamond or Milwaukee Brewers still leading in San Francisco 6-1. And the Angels kind of destroying the Mariners 10-2 in the bottom of the seventh at the moment. Everything else is a final. Yeah. They were they were no hitting the Giants and then they're they're up by six runs. There's some discussion that maybe the Giants should start I mean, I know they I know they gave it a good a good try over the offseason. Picked up McCutcheon, picked up Longoria. You know, but people are wondering: Do you do they trade? Do they think about trading? Do they think about trading Madison Bumgarner? Maybe move McCutcheon. You know, get something for him. Move Longoria. Be interesting. Our first autograph is Rafael Devers. Nice. Devers auto, rated rookie autograph, going to Greg and the Red Sox. Nice. We'll save one of these Otanis right here for the Angels. Is that a gold? No, just a regular one. And then we got Lindor, two-time All-Star. That has the black baseball right there, so that's a variation. And there's Gary Sanchez. That one is numbered to 299. Cody Bellinger blue. That is to 149. Dodgers won today. Points. That's going to be winner take all on those points. And there's Mike Trout with Joey Otani together. And speaking of Andrew McCutcheon, there he is at a 149. And all those parallels will uh, will have sleeved and top loaded before they. Uh, before they get shipped out. All the other games are finals, ladies and gentlemen. In Chicago, the White Sox beat the Blue Jays 9-5. In Atlanta, my Dodgers beating the Braves 5-1. In Houston, the Rangers beating 
the Houston uh, Astros 7-3. to three. In Boston, the Twins were leading, but then the Red Sox pulled away. They beat the Twins 10-4. In extras, Miami Marlins edging out the Nationals 2-1. Kind of a bad year for the Nationals. Do they move Bryce Harper? Baltimore, in Baltimore, they are apparently don't need Manny Machado. They, they pounded out 11 runs against the Rays in Baltimore, 11-2. Yankees uh, splitting the doubleheader. They won the, f I think they lost the first game 10-5 to the Royals. And then I think they edged out the Royals 5-4. In Pittsburgh, Pirates shutting out the Mets 5-0. In Cincinnati, 6-2 over the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Tigers 2-1 over the Indians. And I think in the early game, the Cardinals beat the Cubs in St. Louis 6-2. I was seeing if anyone would notice Stephen K. Only Joe Cavanaugh, Jaden, Jason did. So yeah, I think I am going to leave early. Probably after this break. Now I also I also just hit the wrong button. I was trying to hit the start recording button, ended up hitting the stop streaming button. It's like twice in one week. There's Anthony Banda, rated rookie autograph for Joe Cavanaugh Jr. and the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Snakes. We got Kevin Maiton, rated prospect. Autograph. That's pretty huge. Former Braves prospect. Now with the Angels. Greg with that one. There was Otani. Pitching edition. Moogie Betts. Out of 199. Did I see the Yankees line for game one? Was it? Did it close at minus 510? That is crazy. Well, uh, Severino is on the mound at a 140. And he's great at home. I think there he is right there. He's great at home. I think that was part of it. And there's Nick Senzel out of 99 rated prospect. I didn't realize it closed at minus 510. I think I saw it at like minus three seventy or something like that, and I was like, I was like, no way I'm doing that. But if like you put a penny on it, you get like a fraction of a penny back. I was like, forget it. But I wow, I mean, because at three, at like minus, I think it was minus three ninety, three seventy. It, at at that point, I was just like, I was like, there's no way I'm, no, there's no way anyone's putting any pennies on that. <clears throat> I can't believe it got to minus five ten. Wait, so that means, wait, does that mean people were betting it up to minus five ten? Because if people weren't betting the Yankees, the bookmakers would make it closer to even money, right? So that means people were putting money on it, Joe Cavanaugh. So there's someone there's someone out there who put like fifty dollars on the Yankees minus four fifty or something like that. And that person was just like tearing his hair out. He's like, What? There was no way. They were a lock. Stone cold lock. I don't know. Sometimes you got to be worried about anyone who's there's. Just, I mean, it's just a value play. There's just no value in in taking a team minus four hundred at that point. At that point, take the take the run line. It would probably would it probably was Yankees minus minus two runs at minus one fifty or something like that. Would be a little more value there. I can't ima I can't imagine it would be well maybe for the maybe for a Yankees game perhaps I I'd, I'd, I'd be curious too. We do have a uh, 
Uh, Real Sci-Fi, are you listening? Real Sci-Fi uh, is a is a bookmaker in Reno. He might have a he might can be be able to give us a little bit of idea on. It's Cody Bellinger. It's a variation. Ozzy Albee is to fifty. He might get, be able to give us an idea on the handle on an average midseason game. I'm sure it's higher on a weekend. I don't know if ten thousand seems kind of high. Oh no, are you are you are you thinking across the country? Sen Yin with the Braves, nice Albius. Maybe maybe ten thousand across the country. I could see that. Which seems like a lot for average midseason baseball game, but I think compared to like there's a judge variation. Compared to like uh, an average midseason football game, that's probably 10 times that. You can start seeing the difference there. There's Greg Allen, autograph, rated rookie auto for the tribe, Kevin Hyatt. It's fascinating, folks. I know um, Supreme Court has, has now essentially legalized gambling or made it not illegal, as the case may be. Uh, so now all the states have have the right to do what they whatever they want to do. Out of two ninety nine, Eddie Matthews, Jersey has already opened up books. So did um, there's George Springer two ninety nine, and there's Mickey Mantle variation, and Ben Intendi red out of ninety nine for the Red Sox. So uh, Jersey. New Jersey and Delaware, it's two states have that. I think Florida will get its own. I feel like Florida would be the next place. What's the uh, Joe? What's the what's the Joe Cavanaugh? What's the what's the Florida? What's the pulse there? I think they're gonna do it soon. California is pretty regulation happy, so I have a feeling we'd be one of the last states to um, to really get into to get into those books. But I could see Florida definitely doing it soon, right? Because there, I read in, there was like an ESPN article or something like maybe Forbes or New York Times or something like that, where they they were kind of the the business guys because this is a big business deal too, folks. I know. I know it's gambling, and I know there's a lot, a lot of a lot of purists may may find sports gambling kind of eh, but it's a part of sports, folks. I think from from the swamp, Chris Berman doing the Swami, you know what I mean? Everyone talks about lines, you know, like th this NFL team's minus one. It's just in public consciousness now. You hear it more often in Sports Center. They're talking about lines. Scott Van Pelt with bad beats. It's a part of it's. It's a fabric of of sports. It's part of what we do, you know. And I think I think uh, eventually it'll be out there. Hopefully, carefully. I mean, well regulated, so it doesn't get out of hand. I think it should. Overall, I think it should be good. It should be fine. But yeah, but there was, there was reading an article where some states are more likely, like New Jersey and Delaware, mo more likely to get to get in on that first than they already have, and they're they're already generating millions of dollars of revenue, tens of millions of dollars of revenue already. And then there's like another another section of uh, of states who will probably look to look to adopt that soon, and then some who will take the longest. I think California is one of the states that will take the longest. Eric O, what's going on? There's Reggie Jackson to 299. We'll sleep and top load all those before they before they go out. Aaron Judge 299. There's Otani. Frank Thomas and Ahmed Rosario rated rookie autograph. Wait, didn't Ahmed Rosario just get traded? 
Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. We got Francis. Francisco Mejia definitely got traded. He got traded uh, for Brad Hand. The Mets, that's Alan Murdoch. There's Alan. Alan with the Ahmed Rosario refractor autograph, and Kevin Hyatt with the Indians gets the Francisco Mejia. He's a good prospect, too. It'll be interesting to see what kind of playing time he gets. And San Diego, I'm sure his progress would be accelerated. We can see him in the majors much sooner. Nice, Eric. Oh, big, big Jaspi mail day today. I don't know if you're on the Twitter or not, but if you snap a picture of that, tag us and hashtag us Jaspi's mail day. We'll definitely take a look. Give you a little retweet if you're into that sort of thing. Yes, fire away, Eric. What, what is your question, sir? This looks like the uh, the parallel hot box, ladies and gentlemen. Two parallel hot boxes per case, and then two autograph hot boxes per case. Oh, I see. Okay, so Joe Kavanaugh. I appreciate this, Joe. He's he did he did some uh, the JKJ doing some a uh, quick bit of research, quick Google, with his poor research skills. His words. Um, a billion dollars was bet on baseball in 2016. There are 24, 2,430 regular season games, and then you add in the playoff games. So those are big numbers, Joe. Let's let's do the math. Let's do the math. Can we? Uh, We may do some division there. Did we ever ask you for insurance? Why didn't anyone ask you? That was my note to the sorting and shipping team. So are they just ignoring my notes? There's Nolan Arenado. Out of 299. Well, thank God nothing happened to it then, Eric. There's Jose Ramirez to 149. Well, they were supposed to ask you for insurance. There's Nolan Arenado to 199. And there's Luke Weaver to 10. Nice. Cardinals. I'll be for Chris Parent. Four out of ten. Aaron Judge to 149. Roger Clemens out of 149. Jonathan Gray, 199. Arcia to 299. Well, Eric, I'm glad it got there. I'm glad the Brock Bozer got there safe and sound. Or else we would have had some splaining to do. Luis Gohara. That was a great hit, too. And there's Michael Kopech, rated prospect autograph. Oh, he came over in the Chris Sale deal to the White Sox. David Duffy with that one. Clint Frazier to 299. Paul Goldschmidt to 99. Chrome Braves, we, Tops Chrome doesn't come out until next Wednesday. Carlos Martinez to 149. Martinez again to 299. Strasburg injured again to 199. Chance Cisco to 299. Ryan Dozier of the Twins to 299. Seattle D. Gordon to 99. Harrison Darth Bader to 149. Ryan Braun to 299. Odubel Herrera. To 199. And there you go. Your first parallel hot box. One more to go. 
So JKJ saying in the NFL, about 8% of the total bet on the entire NFL is on the Super Bowl alone. So if you take out the 8% for all the MLB, you're like at $378,000 per regular season MLB game seems too high. It does kind of seem high, right? Even with the fuzzy math, seems kind of high. All right. I don't know. I mean, maybe it is that high. Maybe that's all. Maybe all of that is re is is state tax revenue that we're not taking advantage of. More potholes could be filled, Joe Kavanaugh. More potholes filled, more roads repaved. I think you should be able to, Erico. I think when when was that when was that five out of five sold? It's gotta be more than that. It I'll bet you in season in season you'll get you'll get double or maybe even triple that price. Well, I think it'd be worth waiting until the, the hockey season starts. You know, that seems awfully low. There must have been I don't know. What was the seller's what was the seller's rating on on that Brock Bozer? If the seller rating wasn't very good or maybe he or she sold it at the wrong time, maybe the auction ended at three in the morning or something like that. I don't know. It seems awfully low because when we pulled that hit a lot of people were talking numbers closer to the $1,000 range, not the $300 range. There could have been a lot of factors in play there for that, but I feel like it'd be worth keeping until the hockey season starts, though, when more people's minds are on the, uh, you know, are on hockey. That, that might boost that value a bit. Maybe that person didn't have, didn't have a international maybe didn't have international shipping or something like that which is all uh, key you know a lot of, because it'll oftentimes be the canadian customers who will be in on that so that could have depressed the value uh i hi rory i did not wow one of one luis robert Well, I mean, Luis, feel, feel feel free to use the entire canvas, but that is a great rated prospect autograph. One of one, Luis Robert, David Duffy with the Chicago White Sox, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. I think his, uh, his cards out of Bowman were selling extremely well. Mark, see what's going on? I did not take the Brewers today, nor did I take the other team. There's Cody Ballinger. What are you going to do with that rip card, Erico? And there's Anthony Stantner for the Giants. That's who the Brewers are playing. Brewers pounding on the Giants 7-1. I think they had him no hit through six, five or six innings, right, Rory? Sorry, that's the Orioles. Wrong orange team. That goes to TJ. Sorry, Giants. False alarm. There's Giancarlo Stanton at 99. That is a, that's Miami edition. All right, next box. Ooh, Eric O thinks he's going to rip that Pedroia rip card. What was it numbered to? I forget. Well, let us know what you get, when and if you do. Pedroia was out of 50. Interesting.
I think, uh... Oh, you're doing it right now. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. Erigo, who got a Dustin Matoya rip card from one of our Ginter breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com, just got in the mail. Nice Jaspie mail day for him. Among other things, got that Brock Bozer to five, etc., etc. And he's doing it right now. Good luck, Eric. Now, TJ got a double rip card and another rip card of Machado uh, around the same breaks as you, Eric O. And he said he ripped his, and he got some short printed mini cards. I think one of them was a Jackie Robinson short print in the mini. He said it was really cool. But nothing huge. So uh, our rip card, the, 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 the rippers of our rip cards have not ripped anything ripping. Maybe Eric O will reveal something cool. Uh, he got an Ozzy Albius super short print. That's not bad. No ink or anything like that? Dang. It looks like another parallel hot box here, ladies and gentlemen. Two of two, second of the second one, second and final one. Got that nice super fractor there too. All right, good luck, everybody. We got Odubel Herrera to fifty. Nolan Arenado, all stars blue to one forty nine. Otani refractor, Zach Granke. Out of 199, Otani running, Trevor Story hitting, out of 299, <clears throat> and Mitch Garver is our autograph. Nick Senzel to 99, and Brian Dozier to 149. The Mitch Garver is for the Twins. That'll be for J.K.J. Who now has me all curious about about what the handle is on an average mid-season baseball game? Corey Seager, I guess total in the United States. It doesn't count offshores. Maybe that number counts offshores. Harrison Darth Bader to two ninety nine. Chris Davis, who's been crushing the ball out of ninety nine. He's been A's in general playing well. Miguel Cabrera. Out of 199. Nomar Mazzara to 299. Ton, Tyler O'Neill to 99. And we've got Nick Williams, rated rookie autograph. 8 out of 25. Nice low number. There you go. That is strong. Nice one for the Phillies. That'll go to David Duffy. George Brett to 50. Victor Robles for the Nationals to 299. Evan Longoria, orange to 199. Otani out of this world. Jose Bautista to 299. Ryan McMahon to 199. Jose Ramirez to 2.99, Corey Kluber to 2.99, and there's Kershaw. <laughs> Eric's like, oh, Eric goes like, I guess I should have just sold it. But the, the but the it's hard. I, it's hard to resist. I don't blame you. It, it would be extremely hard for me to resist. You get a rip card, and you're like, well. It's like any case break, right? You're just like, well, what could be inside that case? I want to see. It's like, uh, it's like it's hard to, uh, like, it's like not seeing if if you're a po if you're a poker player, even even if you play casual like Texas Hold'em or whatever, um, it's hard to, it's hard to not see the flop. Right? If you're playing Texas Hold'em, you want to see at least the flop, right? You got to see the flop. It's hard to fold. You know, even if you don't have, even if you have bad pocket cards, you're just like, well, you know, kind of have to.
to see it. Yeah, it, it it is. Well, next time we see real sci-fi Joe Kavanaugh in the room, we'll we'll ask him. It'll be an interesting question to see what his particular book uh, takes in on a on an average major league baseball game. I mean, you got to think there can't be that many just even across the country. The handle couldn't be very big. Uh the handle couldn't be very big for Royals Yankees. You know, even with Severino on the mound, but that number moved to minus 510. That's crazy. But yeah, the odd, well, yeah. Joe Cowan saying it's a weird topic of research. A billion do dollars is the number through legal Vegas sports books. The illegal estimate, the illegal or offshore estimate is high as $36 billion. Well, I mean, that's, listen, that's, that's a lot of money. And I'm glad that the, United States Supreme Court was like, you know what? Let's not have $36 billion leave the United States. You know, I'd like to have some, I'd like to have some of that money stay here. But yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people have crazy money. A lot of people are I mean, yeah, you know, you, you can have there. I mean, there are a lot of pro gamblers out there. Maybe Charles Barkley, right? Charles Barkley goes, you know, $10,000 on the Yankees to win. Severino's on the mound. How could they lose? Um, Charles Barkley apparently is a terrible, uh, is a terrible gambler. <laughs> like as in he just makes bad picks. Uh, if you listen to... If you listen to like enough like uh, basketball podcasts on like ESPN, like, and you listen to the people who have worked with Charles Barkley and like TNT or whatever, or just associate with him, um, they just say that uh, I think Rachel Nichols has said this a number of times. I've heard her on like the the Low Post podcast and whatnot, and she's just like everyone knows that whatever pick Charles Barkley makes. Just go oppo on that. <laughs> All right, there's Miguel Andujar, rated rookie autograph. That is strong. 97 out of 99 for the Yankees. TJ Poyer with that one. So, yeah, maybe maybe Charles Barkley moved that line to minus 510. There's Brandon Woodruff. For the Brew Crew. Then I'll go to Greg. Yeah, Andujar's been playing pretty well. He, he, in some autographs, he has like has like two cool lines kind of going through it. He stopped doing that, it seems like, or at least for this set. One of these are going to be a hot box. I don't know which is going to be the autograph hot box, but one of those are. Couple more packs to go. We'll get into our fourth 
to last box. It's a little over halfway through this break, folks. <coughs> Let's get into this one. Let's see what we got. Wow. Oh. Bam. Optic autograph. Francisco Lindor. Right off the bat. Kevin Hyatt with the Indians. 15 out of 15. Nice. And there's Glaber Torres. Glaber Day. Out of 199. Anthony Rizzo, blue to 149. And Kyle Tucker, aught rated prospect autograph. Nice. Man, the Astros have a pretty deep, deep farm system. Sherry with the Astros. Nice autograph in there. So these two must be the autograph hot boxes. They're in the same position every year, so just something to keep in the back of your head, folks, if you're ever joining breaks from the other guys and they're like half case breaks and whatnot. If you're at your local hobby shop. All right, Tice, what's going on? What's next? You tell me, Tice. What's next might be might be Joe going home a little early. I only see two orders coming in here, Tice. Everyone's burned out from yesterday. All we we did like a zillion cases of of uh, of collegiate immaculate collegiate football, and then we polished off the last two cases uh, first thing today, and then it's been it's been quiet ever since. I think people wanted to do. Um, I think some people wanted to do flawless football, and some people wanted to do uh, certified uh, football as well. A lot of talk, some action, but not enough. I'm afraid, not enough to break. I'm afraid. I think people's wallets may still be a little. Uh, Little burned out from there. Oh, Jared's saying there's three left in certified. Oh, nice. Well, that's good. Maybe we'll do that tonight. All right, there's Nolan Ryan. Yeah, Rory doesn't want to talk about. It. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Anthony Rizzo to two ninety nine. And we've got an Alex Gordon signature series autograph. Nice. That'll go to Kip Kip Hooray and the Royals. And we've got Chan Cisco for the O's. That's for TJ. Rated rookie auto orange parallel. And there's Otani, Refractor, and Tiago Vieira. Two out of five. That's another train whistle for the Chicago White Sox. David Duffy. 
all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. All right, two boxes to go. All right, good luck, everybody. These last two should be the autograph hot boxes. We should expect five autos per box as opposed to the usual two. Good luck, everybody. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to do after this. Jarrett saying that there's only three teams left in certified. What teams are left, you guys? Let the people know. That, that should help. Are they the big teams? Are they the cheap teams? Well, at three left, we gotta do that, right? There's no no need to no need to dilly dally. Let's just knock those three out. Let's do another break. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. We've got Manny Machado leading things off. And Ryan McMahon to 75 is our first rated rookie autograph. That'll be for the Rockies. TJ with the Rocks. We've got... Dustin Fowler, rated rookie auto for the A's. That'll go to David Duffy. Bills, Cardinals, Chargers? That's not bad. Oh, yeah, we got to make that happen. We got this close. There's Tomas Nito for the Mets. That'll go to Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. Not numbered, but a hollow parallel. We've got green Cody Bellinger, one out of five. David Duffy with my Dodgers. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There you go. And the autograph is Signature Series, Albert Almora Jr. for the Cubbies. Greg with the Cubs. Four spots total in that Valiant, Tice. And that's our last box of Valiant. No more after that. Cal Ripken. Nice. Out of 199. That is for TJ and the Orioles. I think he was looking for a Brooks Robinson autograph. And Tyler Maley, rated rookie auto for the Reds. Kip, kip, hooray. And having a decent season as well. Orange Cody Ballinger to 199. And there's JP Crawford. There you go. Nice box. <coughs> the, the voice is going, ladies and gentlemen. So there's your five autographs plus the train whistle. Very nice. Last box. Good luck, boys and girls. Too many train whistles. That's why that voice is going. Too many big hits, ladies and gentlemen. That's why the voice is, uh, is, is weakening at the end of the week. All right. Good luck. Here we go.
Only Bills and Cardinals left in that Panini certified football, ladies and gentlemen. So what Stephen K is saying. Um, have we seen a Josh Allen or a Josh Rosen in the in that certified set? I know we've, we haven't done that many, but we've probably done a few random team breaks and then a, a, a few pick your team breaks by now. We haven't seen any of those guys yet, right? Maybe like relics and stuff, but no, no ink, I want to say. I feel like they're due. All right, last box. Good luck, everyone. Thank you, everybody, for helping fill this one up. There's Chris Bryant Blue to 149. Francisco Lindor. Jordan Montgomery. And we've got, wow, rated rookie autograph 100 out of 100, Luis Robert. Listen, David Duffy with the White Sox with this one. Since you got that one of one, since you got that one, I feel like you got to make the rainbow at this point. You got you to gotta do it. Get the one of one. Find the out of five. Find the out of ten. You know, find the out of 25, the out of 50, the out of 99, the 199, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You got to do it. He's supposed to be a pretty big prospect for, for them, too. It would be worth the chase. Out of 25, Mitch Garver for the Twins. That'll be for JKJ. Right? As soon as you get it, exactly. Rory agrees. As soon as you get that one of one, you got to start that rainbow. There's rated rookie auto, Austin Hayes. You're almost required to. Out of 75 right there for TJ and the O's. We got Zach Granite. It's another one for JKJ and the Twins. There's Keith Hernandez signature series. I've been uh, listening to the audiobook of Brian Kenny's uh, on MLB Network. Brian Kenny's book, I forget what it's called, on stats or whatever. Uh, he's making the argument in that book that Keith Hernandez should be a Hall of Famer. I think he's not eligible anymore. But what do you guys think? Off the top of my head, I was just like, "What? Nah." But he make he makes a convincing case. I mean, Saber Metrics has uh, pretty much got Alan Trammell recognized and into the Hall of Fame. Maybe it'll maybe Keith Hernandez too. And then we got Victor Caratini for the Cubbies. Greg Logsdon with that one. All right, and the last bit right here, we've got Bellinger Red to ninety nine. His episode of Seinfeld makes him a Hall of Famer, says Bill Mosher. Joe's saying ESPN did a big article on Dale Murphy. It's like Dale Murphy should be in the Hall of Fame, right? There are a couple of guys that, that have been a little underrepresented. The, the Hall of Fame argument, we'll, we'll discuss this. I'll have to bring the book in. And we can, we can discuss some of it. But I think it's a pretty fascinating conversation. There's a lot of reasons why, like, some eras they've they've been spot on. Other eras they've been completely wrong on the voting. All right, JKJ down to Sherry. Everybody has a chance at the bonus four hundred points, or not the bonus. It was a re replaced an auto after eleven times. Name on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11 the final time. After 11 times, we've got Greg on top with uh, 400 points coming your way. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.